For three decades, Fred Rogers welcomed children into his television neighborhood. The gentle, soft-spoken Mr. Rogers died of cancer early this morning. He helped raise generations of children, and now it is time to say goodbye. We might as well say, would you be mine, could you be mine, won't you be my neighbor? Mr. Rogers' neighborhood held few surprises, but that was part of its success. It offered a safe, calm place for children, many today who mourn the memory of his steady presence. It was tragic when we heard about it. I grew up watching uh, Mr. Rogers. Well, and I'm very saddened. He was a precious, precious man, uh, in my opinion. But the neighborhood wasn't a fantasy land. There was straight talk on tough world. topics like divorce and death. Experts say that not only helped children, but parents as well. It demonstrated to parents that it's okay to talk to kids about serious topics, that, that kids don't necessarily have to be protected all the time. He started in children's television in 1953 at WQED in Pittsburgh. His first show featured some of his now famous puppet characters. Queen Sarah and Lady Evelyn, I presume? Correct, as, as usual. usual. Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood followed soon after and was picked up by public television stations nationwide in 1968. The show has won every major award in television and not long ago, Mr. Rogers explained how watching bad television had inspired him. It, it was people throwing pies in each other's faces. And I thought that seems so demeaning to me. This, this is a medium that could be used in wonderful ways. Fred Rogers was ordained as a Presbyterian minister in 1962, but he chose to remain the voice of calm reason to children. Beyond Mr. Rogers' neighborhood, he hosted children's programs with newsmakers, and during the Gulf War, he helped parents to talk to their children about war. Children aren't responsible for wars. And for parents struggling to tell their children about the death of Fred Rogers, they may want to use his own words. Words that close a book that he wrote for children about the end of life. Happy times and sad times are a part of everyone's life. So Fred Rogers has given us all these messages, and he continues to give us these messages. And Mr. Rogers died at his home in Pittsburgh. He is survived by his wife and two sons.